in this one we're going to add the floors top and bottom okay and we'll also make a cutout for our stairs so let's get started so to begin this i'm just going to select this wall here and tab into edit mode all i want to do is select a vert here shift s and cursor to select it now i have my insertion point for the floor i'm going to tab back to object mode and if i come up to create i'm going to select floor and for this one i'm just going to choose herringbone and i'm going to press 7 for top view and z and bring up wireframe so i'm just going to zoom in here and just bring in the floor to the corner of the room here so g y and just snap that down g x and snap that over there so that's where i can begin and what i want to do then is just select each of these white corners and drag them to the corner of the room so i'm just going to select this and snap it down by pressing and holding control and the same thing here and finally the top one okay so that's my room floor in position i'm going to press one and just zoom in here so if i come over to the properties shelf you can see we have a height of two centimeters or 20 mil okay so what i might do is come over to the layers tab and switch on the ground floor doors and you can see the door if i select it goes below our floor so if you want to just go a little bit further with the detail i might just select the door tab into edit mode press a press b for box select just select the bottom verts and you can drag this up in edit mode and sit it just above the floor as flush as possible i guess you need, still need a little bit of a gap so if i come back to object mode select the frame i can do the same thing press a press b and press g and maybe this time just press z and snap that up there so that's just a little bit of extra detail if you wanted to do that i'm just going to tab back to object mode and press z and come back to solid i'm just going to come around here to take a look at this okay that looks pretty good so the next thing i want to do maybe is switch on the first floor and add a floor up here so i'm just going to select maybe this wall here tab into edit mode select the vert on the corner shift s cursor to selected and now if i come back to object mode i can come up to create and select floor and this time maybe i'll go for a parquet press 7 press z again and bring up wireframe i'm going to zoom in over here press g y okay that looks pretty good there and again i'm just going to do the same thing so i'll just center my view and select these corner grips and snap that down there and the same thing over here and the same thing up here so if i press one now okay i can see that i'm pretty good on the height and what i'm going to do is actually increase the thickness of this so it incorporates the ceiling height now we had a ceiling height of 300 or 30 cm the distance between the two floors so if i type in 30 cm press enter we can drag this down and then if i zoom in here we can just press gz snap that up to the base of the door there okay it's going to zoom out so you can control this the height of your ceiling on the ground floor if you want to reduce this thickness so maybe you could type in 20 cm and zoom back in here press g z and snap that up there so that's just one way of controlling or updating the different sizes between the top floor and the first floor Okay, I'm just going to press Z and come back to solid. Okay, that looks pretty good in there. Okay, so the next thing I want to do really is add a floor in here so we can cut out a position for the stairs. So for this, I'm going to come back to the layer tab and I'm going to switch off the first floor and ground floor. I'm going to switch on the first floor plan and switch off the ground floor doors. If I select this, I'm going to press 7. I'm going to press tab and enter edit mode and zoom in here so what i want to do is select the vertices on the corner of this rectangular section so i'm going to select these two up here and shift select these two down here and with that i'm just going to press f to fill it and i'm going to do the same thing here select these two shift select these two and press f and now if i press Control tab switch to face i can select these two faces i press p and choose selection so now I can come back to edit mode, select this object, and I'm just going to move it to layer 9, just on its own there for a second. If I switch this on, I can switch off the first floor plan, and I might just switch on the ground floor. So that's where we have the stairs. So with that selected, I'm just going to tab into edit mode. I'm going to press Z, bring up wireframe. Now I can begin to work on this. So what I want to do is just cut out a section here 
around the stairs so I'm going to press Control R first left click and just right click I'm going to zoom in and what I want to do is bring this edge over to the widest part of this stairs so I'm going to press G X and snap that over there I'm going to press Control R along here just drag this up and I'm going to do the same thing but this time I want it to rest against the top step so I'm going to press G Y and snap that down there so if I press Z come back to solid and come around here I'm going to press Control tab choose face select this face press X and choose faces okay so we have our cut out there the other thing we can do is if I switch to edge selection what we want to do is create the thickness of the floor height from the ground to the first floor so I'm going to extrude this down on the Z by negative 0.2 press enter okay and that just gives me my height between the floors and what you can do then is maybe press the forward slash key and what we can do we want to bring the whole lot down and extrude it so what we might do is just press delete and just delete that edge you can select these two edges press delete and edges I'm going to switch back to face selection select these faces there press E I'm going to press negative 0.2 okay and that's a, probably a better way of doing that so now if I press the forward slash key I can come back here we have a ceiling height thickness then for this section of underneath there okay so that looks much better so I'm just going to come back to object mode and I'm going to move this section to the first floor okay and what I might do then is go ahead and add in the remaining floors around here top and bottom story okay once you get those floors in again it's a little bit of work to go around and add those but one of the cool things is you can copy them and manipulate them again so for example if I shift D drag this over here I can just switch back on the manipulator and make any adjustments that I need to it's going to delete that the other cool thing is if you find you have the same type of floors you can just quickly switch from one to another over here so some very cool features with Archipack that's going to do it for this one